you know, just because you think you worked out hard doesn't really give you the excuse to eat whatever you want. What's going on, guys? My name is Jake. I'm Asus. And this is your Body Comp Prescription, where we help you navigate through all things health and fitness. Hope you're all having a great day, and be sure to follow us on Instagram at BodyComprx. We have another TikTok review for you guys. You guys seem to like these, so let's play it, and then we'll break it down after. Look, it's all about the games. When you train hard, you can eat anything you want. Look, I'm just eating a burrito, a bowl, chips, and a soda, and I'm still fit. Doesn't matter, you can eat whatever you want, just as long as you train. All right, so I got a lot of problems with this video. Uh, I'm just gonna start right at the top. So he's basically saying that if you train hard, you can eat whatever you want. And we'll go over each of the reasons why this is a flawed thing to say. Basically the ultimate summary of what a bro would say, you know what I'm saying? Like. You know, just because you work up like a good sweat, just because you moved some weight around in the gym, just because you worked out 30, 60, 90 minutes, doesn't mean you had like a meaningful training session. You know what I mean? Working hard or training hard uh, is what he says. That's all relative, right? Training mm -hmm. hard compared to who? Training hard compared to what? So, you know, just because you think you worked out hard doesn't really give you the excuse to eat whatever you want. In fact, there are a lot of people that do this. You know, there's a lot of people that think that they train really hard. They go train, they think they train really hard and then essentially go eat a cheat meal <laughs> right after they're done. Yeah, I, I agree. I was looking for an explanation. And so I went ahead and did some extra digging, some extra re research. And you know what? If you look at the comments, he tries to back himself up by saying everyone's metabolism is different, but metabolism is flawed. He was saying that, you know, if you work out as much as he does, or if you work out every day, simply go on a walk, you're going to boost up your metabolism, have a high metabolism, and you'll be able to eat how he eats. Right. And, and vice versa to that. If you don't do any of those things, you won't be able to eat that thing. And so therefore, if you know you don't work out, avoid eating like this. But it's like, no, it's that, you know, if you've listened to us in previous episodes, we talk about metabolism, talk about diet and all this information, you know, that is not correct. You know that what he's saying is not true because, you know, your, your metabolism isn't something it's telling me you have to take you. It's something concerning, right? You can't just brush off the side and be like, yeah, um, you know, anyone could do this if they want to. It's, you know, comes down to different body types, then your metabolism. Then, of course, you look at to your activity levels. You know, not everyone works out the same amount of days or intensity wise. So that's something to consider. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I didn't do the extra effort of going through the comments. Going through comments on TikTok is like, uh, you know, Side almost it's it's a lot there's a lot going on in there uh, some things are good some things are bad but ultimately what he's basically saying that you can do is displace those calories that you burned from your exercise and fill them with whatever calories you want and that's not how it should work because again if you've watched any of our videos you know that you can reach your goals by staying in your calorie deficit but you know you're not going to exactly look the way you want to look just because you hit your calorie goal right? We always talk about macros here, but I'm going to move on to the second problem that I kind of have with this video. Um, it's moderation. Okay. So we, we're not saying that you can't eat whatever you want. That's not what we're saying. You can eat whatever you want within moderation. But if you take a look at this video, he's, he's eating probably 1200 plus calories worth of Chipotle. You know what I'm saying? He's got a stuffed bowl and a tortilla on the side, um, chips. He got a side of chips and then he's drinking a, a can of Coke, not even like a zero calorie drink, right? So he's going all in on this meal, but mm -hmm. can you do this? Yes, but the way that he's making it seems that you can do this every day because his only caveat is that you have to train hard. And again, we already kind of went over why that's not really a good argument and that doesn't really give you that free pass to over consume calories whenever you want at any given time, just because you quote unquote trained hard you know what i'm saying yeah i definitely agree with you jake i definitely think it's misleading because for all we know this guy could be a an athlete right a professional athlete a college level athlete um and to the average joe it doesn't work like this you know someone like me for example can't say like yeah i could eat chipotle i could eat the same amount as you can because maybe he needs those additional calories you know more those additional calories that you know like i say like your average joe's or everyday people don't consume or shouldn't be consuming if they're trying to watch your figure right so i think it's misleading because he he's saying you could get away with this stuff but 
it's not everyone's situation. Everyone has a different goal. Everyone is a different place in, in their, uh, you know, finish journey that you can't just say like, yeah, you also could do this. Exactly. And, you know, again, we, you can eat things that you want in moderation. And we've even talked about cheat meals here, you know, che- an occasional cheat meal can be very beneficial for you. We've talked about the benefits of cheat meals before, but at the end of the day, you know, you can't be doing this on a regular basis, especially if you're a regular person like Jesus and I are, you know, like we can eat, we can eat things that we like, but you can't do this every single time you train because all the, otherwise you might be going backwards or har- harming, delaying your progress. You know what I'm saying? So um, I want to move on to the last thing, the last kind of issue that I had with the video is that we have no idea what this guy's goals are. You kind of touched mm-hmm. on, you know, he might be an athlete, he might be doing this and that. And it's a very good point because, you know, like we don't know anything about this guy. He could be 6'4 and 220 for all we know. We like, there's, there's so much that's not being said here and there's not a lot being accounted for, you know, his metabolism, his activity levels, um, you know, what, what he does on a daily basis. And, you know, like when you just, flat out say that you can eat whatever you want as long as you train hard is just not good advice. I don't mean to be really aggressive about it, but it's, <laughs> yeah. you know, for, for most people, this isn't the case. You know, even for me, I'm only 23. I can't eat the same way that I did when I was 17. And that was only a couple of years ago. And I know there's probably a few people who are older than me watching this video who are like, yeah, it just gets worse from here. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's very true. There's a lot of factors that play into your metabolism, what you can eat, what you can't eat. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of people who saw that video and think, oh, I just hit arms, you know, not a very taxing workout to do, and then go do what he just did, you know, go to in and out and order a double, double meal because in their head, I trained hard. I deserve this. And it, it, it doesn't work that way. It's not going to help you reach your health and fitness goals faster. Yeah, no, definitely. You know, my, my last and final point was simply that I talk about everyone's goal is different. For all we know, this guy could be a very slim cut dude for all his life. And this is the first time he's, you know, trying to bulk up, right? So if you know you're bulking, you, you know, you need additional calories and he's at the beginning of this phase, right? He doesn't tell us that information. We don't know what his goal is, right? So if his goal was to put on weight and, you know, he might be giving good advice if he's saying, you know, how to take more calories in per day. But because we don't know that, we can't assume that, we, sh- we won't assume that. And we have to say, you know, this advice, you have to take it with caution, you know, make sure whatever you're eating, consuming, you could have in moderation. You know, you could go eat pizza while you're in a calorie deficit if you would like to, but obviously in moderation, you obviously have to work out your macros into that. Um, it's all relative. You know, it's it's up to the own individual's discretion of whether or not it works out for them. Um, you know, just kind of keep your, your eyes open and your ears open too, because when you hear this advice, you have to really sit down and be like, okay, why, why are you saying this? And does it even work? Is it, is it even valid? Exactly. And that's why we like doing these TikTok reviews. They're very short, but there's generally a lot to break down from them. But there's a lot of people who viewed these or his video and are going to take what they want from it without Mm -hmm. necessarily questioning if it's valid information or not. We hope you guys enjoyed. There are some things that we agreed with and didn't agree with, but nonetheless, we want to talk about it because we thought it would be interesting for you guys. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.